Alrighty, we're back with uh, Portal uh, Did you 2. Know that people it's like an with episode. guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. <laughs> That's a very interesting science fact. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. We're trying to achieve an accomplishment here. to achieve that by not touching the cube. So we can get an achievement. Wheatley! Bruh! I see you! I'm not blind! There we go. That works perfectly. I don't I have I I'll be honest with you, I didn't notice Wheatley the first time we did this. Where's that little freaking thing at now? Dang it, looks like we're gonna have to pick it up. I'm never gonna get this achievement. have to get this achievement just one freaking time. Yes! We'll just knock it over there with our freaking legs. I refuse to pick this freaking cube up. Whatever. <laughs> I'm impatient. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back.
shit, that was easier than I was expecting. What weekly? Can I get smashed in this? The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There, try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. We are back. Let's get it. Oh. Okay, I'll let it. Knocking my head into the ceiling fixed nothing. That did something though. to go somewhere. Where exactly I do not know. Confused right now, I'm not gonna lie. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a bloom. Fine, we got this. It's actually working out better than I was expecting. Right, because we already did this once before. Yeah, somehow got me bigger than that. Like an eagle pilot. very mean but at the same time it's funny <laughs> enjoy this next test I'm going to go to the surface it's a beautiful day out yesterday I saw a deer if you solve this next test maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room and I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again This looks fun.
Alrighty, I think we're doing pretty good in this one. this. What the fuck? Where does that laser go? It works. That's where I want it to. It should bring one of those things up here. It has. Oh, nice. to there, we get everything figured out. We're still down here for now. Get everything out, figured out. Jump to the portal. Alright, now. What is this for? comes in. Shoot that there. We're gonna hop down here. We got this. A uh, ping pong. Go. You passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Interesting. How to make hard light bridges. Interesting. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Son of a bitch, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Betcha. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Gosh dang a minute, how's this supposed to work? Oh, that activated. Okay. That's 
kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. said let there be light and there there was light that was dumb let me go back I think that's actually kind of cool though right now let me go through here Bridge. Boom. There we go. This is actually okay. This is actually uh, not as hard once you figure it out. Now. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's <laughs> wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. That's nice. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hi! I'm here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Out of breath. David. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te- just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Son of a bitch. Big brain. Just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. How does the door mainframe live anyway, though?
is actually pretty cool. Well I done. Think so. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. Did well enough. That sounds about right. <laughs> This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five right. seconds. Good luck. Uh oh. Target lost. Searching. Did it just say stop shooting? Because it didn't want it to get shot by its uh This next test friends. involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. A different game plan. Hmm, let's see here. Hmm. This next test involves turrets. I get it. You remember them, right? Pure the spherical, spherical things that are full of bullets. Yep. Oh, wait. That's you in five seconds. Good luck. Search me for me then. Target lost. Goodness. Me down. Only two turrets with one stone, isn't that nice? Ah, do it again. Alright. Achievement time. So, put that there. And one thing that we haven't touched. Yes! Dropbox, I got it. <laughs> What if I wanted to go to the next test?
Dang it. It's so angry. I wanted to do To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. What the? Oh. Oh, great. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's nice. important is it's a present. That is such a nice present. 10 out of 10. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that yeah, on you it looks the whole stupid. Board. Well, what does a neck bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. Am I still searching? Am I still here? Trip me up a laugh time. Not today. Target lost. Right. I need to do this. Um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, that actually worked. Am I a scientist? I'm a pretty damn smart one. Alright, that's just me being sarcastic. Don't worry. <laughs> well, it'd be nice if, uh... <laughs> I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. That interesting. It's a small world. Small world or big company? How about that? I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Deploying. Searching. Come right the fuck out of there, you little shit. Turrets. Ah. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. 
That kind of sucks. That's interesting. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. Dear. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about what it. What surprise it is. Is this the part where I die? <laughs> Get back to this bread. They're kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Interesting. Is that 
how you do it. I'm not really feeling any remorse for doing that either. That was easier than it usually is. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Sense. I swear to God, if I completed a lot just to fall into the freaking like, ass or whatever it is, I'd be upset. Go down. Oh, gosh dang. Oh, dying in my. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Yeah. Because we at least told you a uh, nanobot. <laughs> Real small. <laughs> Sarcasm himself well, does complete. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Cube with me.
mean, that's slightly harder than it needs to be. thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. One of both of us. Interesting. Well, that's going to be it for this, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.